Hey everybody, Steve here at Inglewood Park Cemetery in Inglewood, California, about 10 miles south of downtown Los Angeles. And this morning I'm coming in the back gate right off of Manchester Avenue, right across the street from the Inglewood Forum. And the person I'm hoping to find this morning, his Finding Grave Memorial page does have a GPS, so if it's accurate, it should be right here just inside the back gate. And I'm here to visit someone who was referred to often as the Fifth Beatle. Do you know who I'm talking about? Singer and musician Billy Preston had a couple of huge hits himself. Remember the 1970s hits, Nothing From Nothing and Will It Go Round in Circles? How about You Are So Beautiful or Out of Space? Those were all really huge hits for Billy Preston back in the 70s. But even before that, he was working regularly with the Beatles on a number of their albums. He played keyboard with them on Let It Be, The White Album, and Abbey Road. It was such a big part of those albums that that's why he was often referred to as the fifth Beatle. And something I didn't know and just discovered is that I guess he was a musical child prodigy and he was mentored by Ray Charles, who's also buried in the cemetery. I shouldn't say buried, he's interred in the mausoleum at the other entrance, the entrance on Florence Avenue. So they're laid to rest here in the same cemetery, which is pretty cool. And I also just discovered something kind of surprising this morning. Now, back in the 1980s, I lived here in Inglewood for about six months or so. And it, but it was such a long time ago, I'd forgotten exactly where the, the condo complex was that I where I lived. And I knew it was near the Forum and driving in from the freeway. So I got off on the 110 freeway heading west on Manchester. And I usually come in the other direction on Florence. So on Manchester, I remember the condo where I used to live was off of Manchester. And it's called Briarwood. It's a gated community, really, really a nice little gated community. I was living with a friend at the time. And... I just discovered that it's just across the street from the back entrance here. I mean, it's really literally just a two or three minute walk across the street from where I live to the cemetery. And when I was living there at the time, I don't remember ever coming over here to the cemetery, which is crazy since I've been visiting the cemetery since I was 10 years old. I'm not even sure I ever even noticed that the cemetery was here. So I, I guess I was busy doing other things back in the, in the 1980s and this just wasn't on my radar. So this morning I'm taking also a little trip down memory lane here, visiting Billy Preston's final resting place, which is just a couple of minutes walk across the street from where I used to live back in the 1980s. How strange is that? It's also pretty strange that I never knew that Billy Preston was gay until I started planning my trip to come here today. Apparently, all of his close friends and family knew that he was gay, but because he was raised in a very religious family, he spent most of his life struggling with his sexuality and didn't come out publicly until shortly before he died. Sadly, he also struggled with drugs and alcohol and health issues which contributed to his untimely death. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.